an idea. We can go and see Toad at Toad Hall. Oh, yes, please, Ratty. I've heard that Toad is a delightful chap. There's never a wrong time to see Toad. Always happy to see him. Sorry when you're gone. He's a bit boastful and conceited, but he does have some great qualities. Thank you. Now, step lively, Mo. The wild wood. It's the haunt of the stoats and the weasels. We river bankers never go there unless we're visiting Badger. And beyond the wild wood, where it's all blue and dim. That's the wide world, and it doesn't matter to you or I. Can you hear the wind in the weasels? Splendid. I was just about to send a boat down the river for you, Ratty, with strict orders to fetch you up here whatever you were doing. Well, what you say, have something. Oh, thank you, Toad. Ah, oh, may I introduce myself? I'm Toad. I'm Mo. Splendid residence. Finest house in the whole riverbank. Or anywhere else, for that matter. Oh, Toad! Oh, all right, Ratty. It's only my way, you know. And it's not such a bad house now, is it? You rather like it yourself. Anyway, you are the very animals I was looking for to help me. It's most important. Now, this is about your rowing, I suppose. Oh, poo-boating, silly boyish amusement. I gave up on that a long time ago. Sure, waste of time, that's what it is. No, I've discovered the real thing. Oh, come with me, Betty, and your amiable friend. Just as far as the stable yard. Now, you two out the front, and I'll meet you round there in one moment. This Romany caravan, the open road, the dusty highways, the hedgerows, here today and up and off to somewhere else tomorrow. Change, interest, the whole world before you, and an horizon that's always changing. Mind you, this is the finest caravan of its sort that was ever built. All complete, you see. Come and have a look. Jam and biscuits and bacon, four little bunks. That one stage done, there's lots of playing cards, ginger pop and dominoes. And there in the corner, a little cooking stove. Nothing whatsoever has been overlooked. But when we start on our journey immediately, I beg your pardon, but did I hear you say when we start? Oh, don't start talking in that stiff bed sniffy sort of way with me, oh, Ratty. You know you've got to come. I can't possibly manage without you, so please consider it oh, settled. Come along now. Can... Don't argue, Ratty. Surely you don't intend to stick to your dull and smelly river all your life. My living in a hole in a bank. No. I'm going to make an animal of you, my boy. I'm going to show you the world. Oh, but I'm not coming in that flat. I shall live in my hole and boat as I have always done. What's more, Mole is sticking with me and doing as I do. Aren't you, Mole? Yes. Yes, of course I am, Ratty. Because whatever you say is to be, has got to be. All the same, I've never seen the world. Oh, <laughs> come on, Ratty. 
Don't be an old stick in the mud. I only want to give you fellows pleasure. Live for others. That's my motto in life. I don't know. Oh, more. please, Ratty. It will be such fun. Oh, come on. That's settled. Follow me. Stay up. <laughs> oh, this is the life. I can see so much from up here. I suppose this is bad fun. <laughs> I knew you'd enjoy it really, Ratty. Would you like to take the reins, Paul? Oh, no thank you. I don't think I'll be very good at it. <laughs> Ooh, what's that noise? I don't know. The smoke and dust coming around the corner. Oh, it's coming straight at you! Oh, you villain! <laughs> you scoundrel! You rude! <laughs> Here today, in next week, tomorrow, villages skipped, towns and cities jumped, oh my, oh blisto, poop, poop! Oh, stop it, such an ass, Tony! Oh, to think of all those wasted years, but now that dust cloud just spring up behind me as I speed on my reckless way. What are we going to do with him, Ratty? Well, nothing at all, it's just a new craze. I know Toad of all. Come on, Mom. let's get this back to the stables and us back to the riverbank. But we can't just leave Toad in the middle of the road. Oh, bother Toad, I'm done with him. Oh, thank you, Ratty, for agreeing to come on this journey with me. I would never have gone without you. Then I may never have seen that swan, that thunderbolt. I may never have heard that enchanting sound or smelt that bewitching smell. Oh, Ratty, I owe it all to you, my dear good old Ratty. You see how it is quite open. I give up. Come on, Mo. Tomorrow morning, I am going straight into town. And I am going to buy the biggest, the smartest, the most expensive motor car I can lay my hands on. Oh, I can see it now. The roar of the engines, the crunch of the gears, and the horns. It's music to my ears. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And the demon on the highway, the terror of the road, and the popular and handsome, the famous Mr. Toad. Oh, yes. Oh, hello. Ha, ha, ha. I like to drive, I like to steer. I drive at speed and show no fear. A hill down dale, both near and far. In my long expensive flashy looking mountain car. Was it a swap? Was it a sunbeam? Was it a thunderbolt? No, it's Toad! Ha ha ha! Patty, I've been here six months. It's the middle of winter. And I haven't met Mr. Badger yet. Oh, Badger will turn up when he's good and ready. He always does. Now be quiet, Mole. I'm trying to sleep. But can't we invite him over to dinner? Oh, I'm sure he wouldn't come. Badger hates society. Well, can't we go and visit him? Well, he certainly wouldn't like that. He's very shy. Now he lives in the middle of the Wildwood. It's winter and I'm trying to sleep. But Ratty... Oh, he... that's it. I'm going to where I can get some peace. Oh, Ratty can sleep. But I'm so restless. Well, the wild wood can't be that bad. I'm going to visit Mr. Badger. It's a cold and still afternoon. Why? It seems the whole forest is asleep. Refreshing the cold is. The snow is crisp and clean underfoot. And every branch of every tree is shining with frost. How happy I feel as I wander through the The mole, dead to the 
adventure out of his hole, all alone without the rat. We can take advantage of that. Come on, my trees and stoats, quick shot. We'll make you by scaring you If we must, must, must <laughs> What's that? The sound of a drink for the sea The sound of the wind Oh, need an animal oh! Go back home, you know you should Run away from the terror of the wild, wild Sure, those hideous faces. I'm sure it was just my imagination. Just in case it wasn't, I think I'll go a little faster. Now then, let's confuse them all by calling out her name. Molly! 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 Nearly finished. Now, let's make the sound like the pattering of tiny feet. It sounds like falling leaves, and now I think it's feet. Of a hundred hungry animals, it's me they want to eat. I think I'm going to cry, because I don't want to die. Don't to find a place where a ball can stay. Well, I don't know. 